Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. In this video, we are talking about the top 10 Chrome plugin that I love. Now, just to give you a context here, I'm a programmer. I write code every single day. Now, situations do change, obviously. Sometimes I, write, I wrote code for React, Web, PHP, maybe Android, maybe iOS, but I write them every single day. And I'm a big fan of boosting my productivity and workflow using these plugins, whether these plugins are for uh, editor or maybe for and Chrome or maybe anything else. I like to boost my productivity with the help of these small tweaks like Chrome and all these things. So in this video, I'll tell you what are my favorite 10 Chrome plugin that currently I'm using. Just onto a side note, I'm a big fan of Emmet, which is a plugin that you can install on your editor, whether that's a Sublime Text or Atom or maybe anything else you're using. If you are more interested in getting know more about this free plugin, Emmet, you can go ahead and check my course at learncodeonline.in, absolutely free, and you can boost your productivity for writing HTML and CSS codes. And trust me, it's super fast when you write code with Emmet installed. It's absolutely free. Go ahead, check that out. Now, before we move ahead and go on to computer and check out those plugins, here is my quick thought. Now, I'm not covering like all of the best plugins. Of course, I'm not aware about each and everything. I would like to know your thought as well. Maybe I have missed your favorite plugin and that is so much awesome. I would love to know about it. So go ahead in the comment section and post down your favorite Chrome plugin that you are using currently or whether it's covered in the list or not as well. So now let's go ahead and move on to my computer. Wearing light shoes, walking down the shore, diving head first down to the ocean floor. We are programmers and we like to get started with zero, like zero, one, two, three. There is no brainer in that. We love to do that. So at position number one, I'm going to keep my most favorite and the kind of a best for everybody is Chrome Inspector Tool. Yes, this is not a Chrome add-on at all, uh, but this is like the best feature which made Chrome popular among the developers. So right click and inspect element and it will just open up here. And you can do a variety of things. You can inspect any particular element. You can do consoles, uh, some sources. And one best thing that I like recently is the network. Now, yes, it was always there, but I recently explored the power of this network tab. And in case you are designing and developing apps like progressive web apps, this is super helpful and super powerful in testing the stuff. Now, yes, I do aware that this comes, this brings actually our first honorable mention. Yes, there are two actually. Uh, the first honorable mention is Postman. Now, a lot of people love Postman. And in fact, you can do variety of requests and parsing and changing and all these things, uh, kind of a network stuff with the Postman plugin. There's a separate like an app for that in the in the Mac. I'm not aware of the Windows. Do let me know in the comment section if there is a separate app uh, for Windows as well. I'm aware of the Mac as well. So yes, if you're testing out your uh, network situation for your progressive web apps, you can obviously do that in that. I love this. This is so amazing. So let's move on to the first and it has been asked to me like number of times, whether that's an offline bootcamp, online bootcamp or course, whenever I just open up a new tab in my Chrome, it just gives a new beautiful image and my focus and my goal. I love to use it. And this is the plugin, like most email asked plugin. It is Momentum. I'm a big fan of it. It gives you a new image every single day. Can You can just be focused by putting it up. There's a paid version as well. I haven't tried it. Uh, probably I'll try that if they'll sponsor me uh, or just will give me. Okay, now let's go ahead and move on to my next favorite one, which is a React developer tool. Now I am, I'm being coding React quite a lot nowadays and this is really super helpful. And the best thing about it is that you can just simply have this React in and it just opens up in your uh, bottom console tool. Uh, inspect element kind of stuff and it gives you so much better things about your props and states and gives you more idea about inspecting and debugging i wish really that this should be like default tool in the chrome but it just integrates so beautifully that i highly recommend for all developers and all of that now it gives you a beautiful icon at the top if you visit the websites like facebook.com it automatically gets activated and tell you that this website is using react and stuff like that so i like it the next one is very popular for web design and developers, which is mobile responsive web design tester. And what you can do with this, you can just click on it and it can give you a variety of sizes and landscape and you can test your website, how it is going to perform on that or look like on that particular multiple devices. 
and really a really good list and the most best part is the width and height so you can mention your device and can check this out so i like these guys i love it now another one is yes there is no surprise with it colorzilla it is like the god for picking up the colors yes there are a couple of others as well like a little bit better and i use multiple of them uh, but yes colorzilla is like the must mention if you are picking up colors i usually pick up my color from learncodeonline.in slash flat color picker there are a couple of others websites as well like flat ui colors and you can just choose your color directly from there but obviously we need to pick up some color from websites we love them sometime and we just do that now another one which is the must have plugin is the json view now yes there are a couple of others as well and the point is you should have one of them now if you work with apis uh, quite a lot uh, these json files are not so easy to read when they are just being thrown at you uh, on a web page so json view just beautifies them and helps you to be more productive more readable json that you are going to have sometimes i use like websites for that there are a lot of juice json beautifier websites but having this is like ah i i wish that this is like a default one for all the developers i really wish that sometimes chrome gives you a, like a package bundle for these most popular ones and you can just install by one click and that's it okay but i'm just demanding too much now next one is like not so important but still i use it sometimes which is what font sometimes you just love the font on a website and it's so hard to dig up onto the css and try to find this exact font and all of that so you can just install this plugin and just hover over it click it and you get the font so really good and really it's not a big deal but i like it and the next one is the bookmark manager now this used to be offered by uh, google like in an active development but right now they have stopped working on that i think they have reached to the saturation stage like this is the best we can do it's still a good in managing bookmark maybe you want to bookmark learn code online that was smooth uh, and obviously it's a good plugin i recommend it highly because there are a lot of resources on the website on the web which we forget about that and having a bookmark is like a good idea i use it all the time then there is one which is like not so popular but still you can just use it which is changing your user agent now in case you don't know there are a couple of user agent for different for opera uh, internet explorer and chrome and firefox and you can just work with that in just one plugin directly here uh not so useful i don't use it that much often but i thought it would be good mentioning that sometimes it just saves you and the next one is for beginners this is the page ruler now i used it in a couple of my boot camps while teaching the web uh, design front end stuff and people just loved it because in the initial stage the beginners are so much confused about having the perfect height and width of a particular element or division it just helps them although i do recommend uh, later on that you should be going more responsive things for that but sometimes you know it's helpful for beginners so that is why it is being mentioned and the next one is visual inspector by canvas now here is a quick tip about it i haven't used visual inspector but one of my friend recommended it and he's a developer you can watch the video it's pretty easy like you can just edit all the things of course you can do that in inspector element but you can just uh change anything on the website and just copy the css and stuff and can paste that but here's the one thing that got me a little bit tweaky and i should mention that if we'll go into the reviews uh, uh, here's a review by Avinash and he says, uh, not, not by Avinash, uh, it's a review by Mick uh, Venice. Uh, it says it's a good plugin, but he got a malware while installing. And I'm a little bit like, oh, that's, that's not good. And they have figured out this issue. They have resolved it completely. Uh, I am with you guys. Don't want to like bash you around. Uh, every review is like awesome i watched the video it's so amazing i haven't used it personally that's why i kept it like at the very last but again our uh, video looks really good i am gonna give it a try but i'm little bit little bit about on that edgy side that is it gonna install a malware i'm not sure uh, i think they have rectified it totally again i will like to get in touch with the team to know more about what happened in the situation more clarification it's always good and uh, now i have already mentioned one uh, honorable mention here which is postman and another mention is i recently found it out which is wiser 
Now, if you are developing for Android, obviously we all know that the Android simulator are so, so lazy and they just don't work like awesomely. And having these things consume a lot of RAMs. A lot of people want to develop on their actual devices and you can just connect your phone with this. It downloads a Wiser app on your phone and voila, somehow it just mirrors your actual device on your screen. And it's so much easier to see everything on the screen directly when you are developing. Of course, you can look at it on your mobile again and again, but my preference is just to have it. Now, the only like not so big deal about this visor, it, it just launches ad in the first 10 seconds. And after that, also, it frequently just launches some ad. But of course, developers need support. So somehow advertisement is supporting them. I'm really glad that they are. They are having a paid plan as well. I'm planning to buy that because I loved it. Absolutely. It's so good to develop your Android apps directly on your phone and not to worry about the slow simulators and stuff like that. So these are my list of what I like as a developer, these plugins. Of course, this is not like all the list. <laughs> we all use like a variety of other plugins. I would like to know your thoughts about what are the plugins that you are using and is not mentioned in the list. If it is mentioned in the list, go ahead in the comment down section that and say it was covered. If it was not covered, go ahead and mention that in the comment section. I would be looking forward for your comments so that I can also improve my knowledge and get to know about more of these awesome plugins that are available. So that's pretty much it for this video. In case you have liked this video, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and you can hit the notification bell as well if you want to get notification about my videos and I'll catch you up in the next video.